Welcome dear students, this is Dr. Hadi here and you are watching Medical Globe. Today's topic is from biochemistry and that is really very conceptual topic of uh, why unsaturated fatty acids have low melting point or why saturated fatty acids have relatively a high melting point than unsaturated fatty acids. So today we will give you a scientific reason behind this and also we will discuss some of the phenomena of the chemistry like steric hindrance, double bond and so on. So here is the topic why unsaturated fatty acid have low melting point MP4 melting point. Before we discuss this uh, topic, um, here we have two types of fatty acids. One is the saturated fatty acid and second one is the unsaturated fatty acid. In saturated fatty acid, you can see there is single bond between the carbon atom and you, you, if you want, you can give hydrogen atom CH2, CH2. There is no need today to write them. If you can you can write CH2, CH2, CH2. So, so this is a, a saturated fatty acid. And on, this, on the right side, there is an, uh, an unsaturated fatty acid where you can see carbon single bond carbon, but here you can see two bonds are there. One is sigma and one is pi. The, because of the double bond, this fatty acid become an unsaturated fatty acid and we know very well that a fatty acid is that molecule which contain one carboxylic group this COOH is called carboxylic group and a, a side chain of hydrocarbon this is actually hydrocarbon because you can see carbon carbon and hydrogen there is there are hydrogen atoms on its right and left side but today for the simplicity and the convenience purpose, I'm not going to write the hydrogen atoms. In case of uh, saturated fatty acids, if you see between every carbon atom, there is a single bond and that single bond, that single bond, there is a free rotation. How? Let's suppose this is a single bond and on its right there is one carbon and here on its left there is another carbon and between the two carbon there is a single bond. When there is single bond between the two carbon atoms then these carbon atoms can rotate. There is a free rotation is there between the carbon and the, the atoms around the carbon can also rotate this free rotation is because of the single bond so in case of saturated fatty acids there will be a free rotation of the atoms and what will happen because of this free rotation this whole molecule will become uh, flexible this whole molecule will become flexible and we can uh, assume this structure here now here, come here if I draw this structure because the here is one fatty acid molecule and now we have more fatty acid molecules this is also actually fatty acid molecules okay fatty acid molecule these are fatty acid molecule and CH 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 bond is there every corner represent carbon atom and between the two corner there is single sigma bond so this these are fatty acid molecule and look these three fatty acid molecules can become uh, closer together they can come closer and they can make a very stable structure why because i told you in the beginning that because of the free rotation of every carbon the whole molecule become flexible and these all molecules are so flexible that they can come closer to each other very easily and when they come closer they come close together the chances of the atoms 
to to be in contact with each other is increased means many atoms will come in contact many atoms will come in contact and as a result we say van der waal forces become increases become increase and as a result of this i can now these fatty acid molecules are now yeah they will now come here come closer like this and like this it's become a compact structure because of the two mini van der waal forces these van der waal forces will let these molecules to come closer and make a stable aggregate this is more stable aggregate what is mean by aggregate combination of molecules when some molecules uh, combine together we say an aggregate is formed so many fatty acid molecules will make an aggregate but that aggregate will be more stable more tightly pack if i say more tightly pack that will be more suitable word to say there's more tightly packed structure and these packed structures can be called as more properly arranged the 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 whole credit goes to the free rotation between the carbon because of the free rotation between the carbon atoms the free rotation made the molecules a uh, flexible because of the flexibility the molecules came together and because of their closeness many atoms were become in contact with each other and when many atoms uh, become in contact with each other uh, forces are produced that a uh, force is called van der waal forces so many atom come closer together because in the fatty acid molecule there are lot of atoms and these atoms will come close together come close together they will attach with each other more attachments more wonder wonder wall forces more forces the molecules will come closer and a, a, a very good pack structure will be produced this is the compact structure and you can say this is crystallized more arranged now you tell me if something is properly arranged this is already in 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 a very high energy state so uh, so, so you 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 now if you want to disturb this if you want to disturb this you cannot disturb this kind of structure more easily why because it is already stable it is already stable you cannot disturb it easily so how if you want to disturb it how you will disturb it so you will provide it heat okay a slight heat will not disturb that molecule so that it become melt together in melting stage in the liquid stage assume this is the this is the liquid stage when the fatty acid molecules were uh, not in close contact when they were free and after the the, the fatty acid molecules come closer they become packed and you can call it now solid crystal solid crystal in crystal form the atoms are arranged more properly and they need more heat to disturb them again so what you do you will provide it more heat high heat more heat so then it will melt so we say that the melting point of the saturated fatty acid is high means if you want to melt the fatty acid saturated fatty acid you need more heat you need more temperature after you provide more temperature it will melt so that 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 was the the reason behind uh, why saturated fatty acid have high melting point which was not the topic the 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 real topic of today is why unsaturated fatty acids have low melting point why unsaturated fatty acids have low melting point this is uh, why i gave this example 
because once our student get the concept of saturated fatty acid he or she will be easily get the concept of the unsaturated fatty acid okay fine so now come to that side here at that side we have an unsaturated fatty acid where there is a single bond between the carbon atom, each carbon atom but there is one double bond maybe two double or maybe three maybe four double bond but today i gave you only only one example that there is only one double bond when there is a double bond when there is a double bond this is so interesting when there is a, the whole game starts here the whole game starts here the whole concept of the today's lecture will start here at the double bond the molecules will not be as straight as it is on the whiteboard but the whole molecule will show a slight bent a slight bent that we call it kink it then at this point the molecule will become like this will become like this that is called a kink now you can have your carbon atoms as usual yes but what happened instead of its extended form instead of its straight form a slight bent is produced in the whole molecule and that bent is because of the double bond now now what will happen in the uh, in my previous example here in case of saturated fatty acid i have discussed with you that in case of single bond there is free rotation there is a freedom of rotation between the carbon and when between the two carbon we got double bond two bonds between the two carbon let us suppose this is on the right side my one carbon and left this is another carbon when two double bonds uh, are produced in between the two carbon then the, the movement is restricted the freedom of movement it will not be there at this point where the movement is restricted where the movement has been stopped because of this restricted movement the molecules will at this point the remaining carbon will show a bent and we call it kink because of this bent the molecule is no more flexible the molecule become no more flexible is in case of the saturated fatty acid because of this reason because of the double bond that it give us a molecule of this kind of shape maybe maybe if you see more double bond uh, further maybe you see more double bond uh, you may see another structure like this fine so you will get such kind of molecule that will be not straight wherever double bond comes there will be a bend there will be a kink and now, now see what will happen this unsaturated fatty acid is a, is a single fatty acid molecule we have some three unsaturated fatty acid molecules here these are the unsaturated and you know ch 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 c c c c c at this point we have a double bond and at the point of the double bond there is a kink there is a bend so here is again a bend and here is again a bend structure wherever double bond is there, there is a bend structure now you tell me the difference between the saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid is that this these molecules are flexible and and they are so extended that they can make a very compact aggregate but in this case the molecule the, the, because of the restricted movement all the atoms will not be able to come closer with each other there will be some sort of resistance there will be some sort of resistance that all the atoms will not be in proper contact with each other so this is called a steric hindrance this is called as steric steric hindrance steric hindrance because of the steric hindrance all atoms will not come closer to each other as a result of this as a result of this what will happen then the molecule will not be flexible anymore not flexible 
when the molecule is not flexible then because of very less van der okay there will be some van der Waal forces but these van der Waal forces will not be as much as they were in case of saturated fatty acid because of the less van der Waal forces these will come together these will come together but when these uh, come together you will get a a molecule of this this kind of molecule is not properly packed this is not properly packed it is already in a in a disorganized form so anything which is already in a disorganized form need very slight heat very little heat to to uh, to disturb it so in this case if you want to melt it again it it become let's suppose now it become solid if you want to give heat so that it become melt you need very um, slight heat is required why slight heat is required why less heat is required because it is already disorganized anything which is not more stable it is less stable it is less stable anything which is less stable need very less heat and anything which is more stable need more heat to disturb if you want to disturb it if you want to melt it i mean if you want to melt it you will give less heat because it is already uh, in in the disturbed form so that is the reason that unsaturated fatty acids have low melting point means they need less heat to melt to make them liquefy as compared to the saturated fatty acid here is the point for the saturated fatty acid now you can write the whole idea on, on a notebook cc means if there is single bond between the carbon all single single bond between the carbon what will happen there will be free rotation as i already discussed because of the free rotation the molecule will become flexible and because of the flexible molecule there will be decreased steric hindrance what is steric hindrance the ability of the more and more atoms to come close together and to interact with each other this is called as less steric endurance and if the molecule or atoms cannot come closer we say there is more steric hindrance steric hindrance actually resists the atoms to come close together so in this case in the flexible molecule the steric hindrance is decreased because of the decreased steric hindrance more van der Waal forces more forces will generate between the atoms between the molecule and because of this more stable aggregate will form more stable aggregate means more tightly packed structure more solid structure and more heat is required from this you can say that it require it has high melting point this is for saturated and now you can convert this idea you can make this idea for 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 unsaturated fatty acid mean if i write a double bond between the two carbon now it become unsaturated fatty acid in unsaturated fatty acid free rotation is there no free rotation is there so we will say the free rotation is decreased decreased free rotation and i will say great flexibility we will say less or no flexibility less flexibility because of less flexibility we will say here increased steric hindrance because of the increased steric hindrance we will say less van der Waal forces and because of less van der Waal forces we will say less stable aggregate less stable aggregate here we'll say less tightly pick and less heat is required and here low melting point you will get these on your fingertips it's not a cream it is really a scientific base scientific basis that we've got that how saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid have different melting points i hope you got that uh, if you understand lecture give us a like and also subscribe our channel and also as i always say remember me in your prayers thank you take care goodbye